<clears throat> Hello everyone, I uh, just wanted to um, let you guys know I'm going to try something else. Um, I still like the, uh, what do you call it, noodles, right? Ramen, noodles, machurans, all that good stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do today is, um, I saw this other video in regards to beef and pork adding to your noodles so what i'm gonna do is uh basically i just got a couple ingredients <clears throat> so i just got me some pork uh, carnitas basically they're already sliced there's no bone in it you know you can use beef chicken whatever me i i just chose pork and i'm gonna be cooking it with uh stir fry sweet chili flavor and then i also got this package from another one uh, I think it's like uh, extra sauce uh, mixed in with a little bit of water in here just a bowl I'm gonna use my air fryer so I'm gonna heat everything up and uh, leave it there for at least 10 minutes and then check it out okay one moment okay so <clears throat> had to put my phone down and then put it but, but, but basically um, I'm gonna put all the ingredients in here you see the uh, the noodle I'm putting the the package the only one I need is this little sauce so hopefully um, if you guys can see it just has a little bit of flavoring in it it's all gonna get mixed in anyway so um, and this particular um, stage I mean you can basically put if you like soy sauce if you any any other kind of uh, ingredients uh, I got some of these, uh, you know, little cubes from flavoring, you know, you can put whatever, whatever at this stage, uh, salt, pepper, whatever, you know, and then just, uh, make sure you need, uh, cook it enough, uh, there for, I'm going to put 10 minutes intervals, basically it's about 20 minutes to cook and everything. And I'm going to use my air fryer. Of course you can always use your stove, right? But for our, uh, I like using our air fryer, so here we go. Okay, so I put everything in there. Uh, I'm just going to close it. And I'm going to put air fry. It's going to be, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, 400 degrees. Uh, time, uh, it does say 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'll be back in the 10 minute interval. Hey right, guys, uh, I had to open this up. Uh, it's barely been two minutes, but as you can see, it's already, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, so after the two minute mark, make sure you come in here and kind of stir things up just to make sure that everything's, uh, you know, mixed in. Um, but yeah, look at after two minutes, the noodles are halfway done. Some of the meat, look, check it out. See, it's, it's so... I don't think it's going to take the whole 20 minutes, but I'm going to be checking up every three, uh, every three, four minutes. I'll be checking in again. So let me see. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Man, this thing is it's 400 degrees and it's like 18 minutes. There you go. 18 minutes left. So I'll be up more than likely. It's going to be done in 10 minutes versus 20, but I'll check again. I'll be back. Alright, so it's 13 minutes uh, left, so let me see how this thing is going. You hear that? So, let's take a look. You know, the pork. So, yeah, it's going to take the whole 10 minutes just to cook it, but the good thing is that the juices are being released in here as well, so it's being cooked. Uh, with the noodles just making sure that this thing is not completely dry because I don't want this to to uh, come out too dry you know because we still need some juice but yeah there it goes I'm gonna let it go for the whole 10 minutes and then uh, I'll be back all right so it's uh got eight minutes left and then I'm gonna check it again see if there's any the waters are a little bit low I noticed that, but uh, looks like the meat's already cooking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. 
uh, what's happening is if you see up here, it's getting a crust, but that's because the heat of, from the air is hitting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it for the next eight minutes and, uh, you know, just make sure uh, it gets crispy. I guess crispy on the other side, as you can see. See, it's the same thing with this one. So, yeah, uh, about the midpoint mark, make sure you flip it over just so it can get a consistency of at least uh that that bark on the top but yeah I'm gonna, eight more minutes left i'm gonna let it go uh i didn't throw this away so what i did i just basically filled it up a little bit of water add it you know for the next eight minutes hear that okay so here we go next eight minutes 400 degrees all right, got two minutes left. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check it out, see how it's going. Hold on, and then next for the next two minutes, you know. But there it is. Got the bark. See. So pretty cool. And yeah, there's plenty of uh, juice. So not too bad. So basically, the noodles already done. I just want to make sure this pork is not undercooked. So both sides have bark on it so and ah, it smells pretty good so look at that Ooh, it's got all that flavor so the reason why i also didn't cook this before i put it in all the juices from the pork is actually in the soup now depending on how you want it i mean you can let it in there for you know more time so that some of the soup can uh evaporate if you don't want it too soupy me i like it so i want to make sure but the the noodles have been cooking for the with this for 10 minutes um so i put it down but i put an extra three minutes just to make sure because i added some water earlier so i added three minutes so basically the the last two minutes now is just extra basically this is ready to cook but i'm gonna leave it there for the next two minutes and then uh see how it comes out okay here we go. Okay, it's counting down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and boom. Okay, let's see how. I'm going to go ahead and take this out, set it up over here on the side. But listen to that. And I like that some of the... Uh, actual noodles got a little bit of char too that's pretty cool see how that uh comes up but yeah the, the meat's already cooked on both sides uh i made sure that it has a bark so see there you go so that's on on the other side and then this side too it's got bark on it all the seasoning is in there all the fat and juices from the pork is actually inside here with the noodles so I'm going to let it sit here for a while so all of that can be, you know, mixed in at the same time cool down because I do not want to burn my mouth. I'll let you guys know in just a minute. All right, guys, so uh, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and, and cut some of this uh, meat. But, yeah, it's fully cooked. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the larger pieces um, down just a little bit so hopefully you can see the it's very tender um, that's the good thing about when you boil your your meat um, it's very tender but take a look it's fully cooked it's got that bark as well so I'm just gonna take a quick bite you can actually taste some of the ramen seasoning on this thing um, So pretty good look fully cooked all the way to the middle it's got that bark you know it's got all that seasoning in there so yeah you always make sure chicken and pork <laughs> you gotta make sure it's fully cooked you don't want to have those runs at the end of the day if you know what I mean so 
Ah, it tastes good. And it's very tender. Um, you know, if, if you um, try with beef, uh, uh, next time I'm going to try with beef just to make sure. It's got, I'm pretty sure it's got a different taste, but man, I don't know why, but I am, I, I love uh, the pork uh, taste. So basically, yeah, you see, I, I cut it down to smaller pieces. So basically, this is going to be my lunch for today. I do work at home, so, you know, whenever um, my lunch time comes around, I'm going to let this sit until my lunch time and then basically put in the fridge come back put in the microwave and then you know i'll, I'll have a nice uh, lunch so let me know if you guys try this out and see how it comes out but like i said you can add whatever you want i think that's some no and the reason why i tasted it is uh, just to make sure that it's, it's got all seasoning but yeah you can tell it's got all kinds of seasoning with the little vegetables. Look at that. But if you guys want to add more seasoning, I know some. It's up to taste. This for me is fine. The texture of the pork is is soft when you. It's not tough. I, I mean, I don't have to pull it and you know um, fight with it. It's already fully cooked. Um, <clears throat> it's up to you if you want to leave it longer. But in the air fryer, everything goes faster. So if you leave it there longer, basically it's going to dry up and you're going to have beef jerky. <laughs> so anyway, hope you like this video.